Good day, everyone. My name is Vasily Zvezdin. I am a candidate of sciences in medicine, co-founder of the company Microneedle Industrial, and I guess one of the people responsible that biodissolvable microneedles appeared in the Russian Federation. The moment, there aren't that many large factories in the world producing biodissolvable microneedles. There is one in Korea, for example, and, however strange, also here in Russia. Biodissolvable microneedles represent a new way of delivering active ingredients into the skin, widely used not only in cosmetology but also in pharmaceutics. The first steps in this direction were taken in early 2000, in Ireland and the USA. Now almost all big countries have companies trying to produce microneedles. Microneedles enable delivery of vaccines, peptides, medicinal components. Their area of use is extremely wide. Of course, their use in cosmetology couldn't go unnoticed. Now let's talk about how a biodissolvable microneedle is different from any other one. First of all, it's painless. Why is that so? A biodissolvable microneedle reaches the skin layer, where we do not have big clusters of nerve endings and capillaries. That's why we do not feel the needle, just a light but quite comfortable pricking. The needle penetrates the skin, it reaches the epidermis, meaning that it is a cosmetic product. But if it reaches the derma, it is a medical product. Then it dissolves, releasing active components. Biodissolvable microneedles are usually made from different types of hyaluronic acid. When the technology was founded, some manufacturers permitted themselves to make needles from sugar. But you understand yourselves that delivering sugar into the skin is not that pleasant. That's why now it is so important to look at the ingredients. Our company has the possibility to work with more than 30 formulations, elaborating proportions between hyaluronic acid and active components. In the near future, we will expand the list of ingredients, which will allow to deliver into the skin peptides. Essences. In general, the list is quite wide. The DDM platform, Dissolving Detachable Microneedles, the platform we patented in the USA and the Russian Federation, allows us to perform the cosmetic procedure in 25 minutes. No need to keep the patch on the face for two or four hours. You can apply the patches in the morning time. After penetrating the skin, the needles dissolve quite quickly, with only a small stump left on the patch, not more than 20% of the massive. And then you can go and do your stuff. If we compare biodissolvable microneedles with classic beauty products, there is, of course, a number of benefits. Creams and serums, when applied on the skin, do not have much potential in penetrating it, especially when we are dealing with peptides, because a peptide is a very big molecule. It's like trying to drive a train into a vein. The skin, like a mechanical barrier, blocks it in a few ways. Mechanically, not allowing them to enter due to the size. And secondly, the space between the epidermal cells has a particular charge. That's why active molecules either get attached to the walls or not. So in order to deliver active components to the basement membrane and, more than that, into the derma, many manufacturers use specific substances which mechanically either pull the cells apart or damage them with chemical elements, which helps the active components to penetrate deeper. But, in such a way, we traumatize the epidermis, which determines our skin texture and the so-called age indicator zone. So the epidermis and the skin texture are the indicators of our age. That's why it is important to deliver active components to nourish the skin without damaging the epidermis. In this case, biodissolvable microneedles can solve the problem. Because when penetrating, the needle mechanically pulls the cells apart and then dissolves, delivering active components exactly to the basement membrane level, which ensures the quality and texture of epidermis. Biodissolvable microneedle decisions have two modes of action. The first is collagen induction therapy, as the patch comprises 98 microneedles per 1 square centimeter. When entering the skin, they stimulate the epidermis and also mechanically stimulate the basement membrane activity. That's the first element. The second one is delivery of active substances. Dissolving hyaluronic acid serves as a nourishing component for the cells. And also by delivering active components, we help the skin to feel better. And in general here, we work as if we're treating a burn. We do not break skin integrity. 
but we let active components get to its foundation, meaning epidermis. What are the basic differences between biodissolvable microneedles and hydrogel patches? A hydrogel patch, doesn't matter what it is soaked in, is applied to the skin surface. In this case, the active component works exactly as if a serum is applied. The occlusal effect increases, but just a little, the level of mechanical penetration, but it's a small percentage. That's why in this case, the action has a short-term effect and influences only the stratum corneum as a maximum taking into account the nearest elements of the epidermis as well. In case of biodissolvable microneedles, the effect is due to the biochemical correction of the basement membrane. We influence the epidermis texture itself, thus changing its activity and skin quality. That's why it's important to understand that the effect after one procedure can, of course, take place depending on the age and the degree of skin problems. But the best result is achieved after the course. And the minimal course consists of four applications. It can be increased up to 10 procedures, depending on the recommendations by a cosmetologist. It's absolutely safe, but it's very important to understand that we have to nourish the basement membrane and correct its biochemistry. So now you realize that the life course of a cell goes from the basement membrane to the stratum corneum, which comprises 28 days. In order to see the effect, you need to wait for at least the end of the course and as a maximum 15 days after. Another very important moment is when we compare minimally invasive biorevitalization and classic biorevitalization performed by cosmetologists. A cosmetologist performs delivery of mesococktails with a bigger depth, injecting active components straight into the derma. The depth can be two millimeters, sometimes less. But in any case, it is very difficult to reach the basement membrane level with a hand. It's very important to understand that mesococktails are delivered locally and the frequency of punctures is much higher. Of course, it's a professional procedure requiring the work of a qualified specialist. This professional procedure has a more expressed effect seen almost immediately. And here, it's important to understand that minimally invasive biorevitalization performed with biodissolvable microneedles is aimed, first and foremost, at having a safe and effective procedure at home. These procedures do not contradict with each other, and biodissolvable microneedles cannot completely replace mesotherapy with the cosmetologist because these are two absolutely different levels of delivering active components. But here it's important to understand that we can't do mesococktails regularly. Yes, you have to wait for some time for the skin to regenerate, to recover. That's why in the intervals between the courses, you can use biodissolvable microneedles. Another important thing is that if we make a comparison with fillers, that's a completely different depth of delivering hyaluronic acid. Though it seems that we have the same hyaluronic acid there, the difference is huge. If we talk about fillers, fillers have cross-linked hyaluronic acid with a very high molecular weight so it is able to resist body ferments and not to dissolve for a long period of time, thus providing mechanical elasticity, pushing the skin a bit, and smoothing it. If we talk about biodissolvable microneedles, first and foremost, they aim at delivering active components, dissolving and nourishing the skin. Here on the one hand, hyaluronic acid should be mechanically strong, and on the other hand, it should be able to dissolve quite quickly in order to deliver active components and not make the process too long. The main aim of biodissolvable microneedles is to influence the epidermis and correct epidermal wrinkles. One has to distinguish between epidermal wrinkles, which remain on the skin surface and determine its texture. The very same net we have under the eyes and dermal wrinkles which are deeper, like crow's feet, for example. So wrinkles get formed at different levels. Here, it is very important to understand that epidermal wrinkles are quite difficult to treat. As they are on the skin surface, you have to estimate exactly the depth and level of the delivery. That's why biodissolvable microneedles were created, especially for fighting epidermal wrinkles. There are cosmetic procedures for battling them, and in this case, it is very important that between these treatments, we can use biodissolvable microneedles to increase effectiveness, make it last longer. 
and additionally, improve the skin texture itself. Now a few words about the evolution of cosmetic microneedles. How they first appeared, how their platforms changed, and what we have now. Many of you have already seen microneedles starting from 2014 and even tried these treatments, but not everyone was satisfied with the result. That is because first microneedles that appeared and the first microneedle decisions in the Russian Federation weren't exactly microneedles. They were called microtips. Basically, it's hyaluronic acid, which is produced when two plates are compressed, then stretched and pointed drops get formed between them. The drop itself, its mechanics, doesn't allow to get that deep into the skin. That's why they dissolve during four hours and basically remain on the skin's surface. So here, it's more logical to compare them with a serum. Now many developers have moved ahead and started to make needles with a pyramid base and conical needles. Pyramid needles have their own mechanical features. When starting to produce them, manufacturers use sugars instead of hyaluronic acid, so they could dissolve quickly. But not always did the needles penetrate the skin, the epidermis. If compared with other platforms present at the market, for example, Koreans have already produced their third platform, while ours corresponds to the fourth or fifth one. As we use the platform with detachable microneedles, they are more effective in penetrating the skin at a particular level, till the basement membrane, and dissolve quickly. It's important to understand that not only do the ingredients and quality of hyaluronic acid matter, but also the mechanics of the needles themselves. That's why when you work and order needles, always ask for clinical and profilometry results. But first and foremost, it's important to look at histology results, which estimate the depth of penetration and its safety. The protocols which we now possess allow us to work in FDA and prove the effectiveness with histology. Today, I tried to answer the most common questions which usually arise when talking about biodissolvable microneedles. If you have any other questions, please write them in the comments. All the best. It was Vasily Zvezdin with you.